Hey guys, how's it going? Scoundrel here. Welcome to the channel. For those of you that aren't scoundrels, you can be a scoundrel for the low, low price of hitting the subscribe button. Uh, apart from that, thanks to G2A for sponsoring the channel. There's a reference link in the description below. Today's going to be a pretty short video. Um, it's going to be primarily talking about an exploit slash bug in the game. Um, and I, I'm mainly doing this to draw attention to it. And that does mean that if you are looking to use this for your own personal gain, feel free. Uh, but I'm also doing it to raise attention to the devs. Um, I believe this has been talked about throughout the beta quite a lot. And apparently um, this has been something that's been going on for quite some time. But there is a bug when it comes to a specific fitting and also rigs. Um when it comes to cannons so anything like strike cannons rail guns um lasers everything that counts as a cannon is being affected by this bug and the bug comes through some of the stats that are supposed to receive a track a, a stacking penalty but are not what do i mean what am i meaning by stacking penalty well some fittings in the game and i'm going to show you this right now some fittings like a, a tracking computer here have a penalty using more than one of this type of module or rig on a single ship will result in a penalty to the final effect the effect boost is calculated based on the stats of the corresponding attribute the stacking penalty is as follows you get a 100% bonus for the first one you put on. For the second module or rig of the same type that has a stacking penalty, you're going to get an 86.9% bonus. Then the third, so if you were to equip three of the same um, module or three of the same rig, you would get a 57.1% penalty to the percentage gain bonus. Now, there are two types of bonuses in EVE Echoes. There is additive and multiplicative uh, and the additive bonuses are calculated separately and added on to the base value, whereas the multiplicative bonuses are, are added together and then added on afterwards. And so you calculate them separately whenever you're looking at um, whenever you're looking at stat boosts or stat gains in Eve Echoes. Um, things that are additive are skill bonuses and ship bonuses, um, and then things that are multiplicative. Are, um, are things that you get from modules or rigs, for instance. Most things in Eve Echoes are additive, but some things are indeed a multiplicative. Ship bonuses are a little weird because they don't apply to the, to, to the base value. They apply to the final value that you get from the rest of your bonuses. But that's just a whole wild west that I don't want to get into, but I will briefly touch when we talk about this video. So what am I actually talking about? We well, might have guessed, given that I'm in the mower and I'm in the cannons, um, the bonuses applied by the tracking computer, so optimal range, fall off bonuses, and tracking speed bonuses, plus any corresponding rigs that have the same kind of impact, are currently not receiving stacking penalties. So you can stack tracking computers, and especially if you're stacking like three and you're layering the tracking computers in terms of activation time, you will not receive any stacking penalties on optimal range bonus, fall off bonus, and tracking speed bonus um, for stacking either multiple um, tracking computers or multiple rigs. I, I'm not actually using the rigs on my mower, neither was I going to buy them because I didn't need to, to illustrate the issue that's going on. So with three tracking computers, I'm going to show you the stats that I have. I have an optimal range of 28.11 kilometers. I have an accuracy fall off of 20.52 kilometers. And I have a tracking speed of 14.95 kilometers. Let's get into the math now. And this is going to be a little heavy, and I'm sorry about it, but we need to do it to ensure that we do a good job. So I'm going to quickly switch over to my Excel sheet. And I know you love my Excel sheets. And I'm going to go through some of the calculations here. Welcome to my spreadsheet. Uh, OK, so what I've done here is I put expected optimal, so what I was what I would expect the optimal range to be with the stacking penalties, and the actual optimal that I'm getting as an output. Okay, so I want you just to notice, and I'm going to show you this just for clarity. This is the actual optimal that I'm getting, and you can see that I've done it based on calculations here. And if we compare that directly to what I'm getting on Eve, you'll notice that it's 28.11. If we go back to the spreadsheet, you'll notice that it's also 28.11 here. And I haven't just put 28.11 in here. I've done it with calculations, but I'll go through that in just a moment. You can see the formula that I've put in the top of the uh, bar here. I've done this for the fall-off range and the actual fall-off range, the optimal tracking and the actual tracking that we end up getting as well. So... Uh, I've done a load of stuff down the bottom here, which you might be able to see. This is just me putting in some. This is just me putting in figures. So what I did first is I took the base optimal range, the base fall off, and the base tracking of the Federation Navy uh, 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 rifle railgun. I'm just going to show you those to be able to uh, on the on the other screen to be able to so show you and back up those stats. So you can see that is 18 optimal, 10 fall off, and base tracking of 10.4. Going to go on to this, and you'll see. 
18 kilometers, 10 and 10.4. So those are the base stats. We don't need to contest those. And then we have got the the optimal range based on the additive skills plus any ship bonuses that we would get. So the additive skills, I get 8% from my skills right now. That would give me a, uh, a base range of 19.44. Um, my base fall off is 16% from my skills, but the ship bonus gives me 25%. So I calculate the bonus from skills and then I multiply by 25% to give me 14.5 from 10. And then we have a base tracking of a 10% bonus from my skills, and uh, and that comes uh, up to 11.44. And just to show you guys again, I am going to unfit all of my tracking computers over on EVE. And I'm going to show you this just to see. We are 19.44, 14.5, and we are 11.44. And just again, uh, that's not the right one. There we go. Just so we can show you, 19.44, 14.5, and uh, 11.44, and you can see this based on the calculations that I've got up here, okay? So these are the base values. They, uh, these are the values that I've already calculated using additive and ship bonuses, so we're not gonna need to worry about them. I've then put in the range bonus and the tracking speed bonus that you get from the uh, the tracking computer, and the stacking penalty, this is showing me the percentages that I would get uh, based on the stacking penalties that you get um, otherwise, okay? So we're gonna go through this little this little sheet now. My base range of 19.44, that is the base range that I've got. One tracking computer is going to give me 19.44 plus 18 multiplied uh, by, uh, or, or rather 16.06% of 18, which is the base range. So I'm going to get 19.44 plus 16.06% uh, of 18, which is the base optimal range. So my expected output would be 23.233, and that is the actual output I'm going to show you. Uh, and I did the same thing over here. The thing is with the ship skills, and this is the extra formula you have to take, the times 1.25 at the end here is because of the ship skills. What you end up having is uh, the base, uh, my base fall off range is 14.5, then add uh, sixteen point zero six percent of ten of ten, and then multiply the whole value by uh, or by another um, twenty five percent, or you know, add another twenty five percent of that entire value. So uh, we did the same thing with the tracking over here using the same formula. I'm just going to show you that when I add one tracking computer to my um, my fit, we're going to just corroborate, and we're going to we're going to essentially check that all off. Twenty two point three three. 16.51 and then also 12.61 and if we go back to the um, Excel sheet you will see that the expected and the optimal are identical for when I've got one tracking computer that makes no that makes sense there's no stacking penalties so then we go further and this is where multiplicative bonuses come into account when I add a multiplicative bonus I'm adding the my base range plus 16.06 percent of 18 then because we get an 86.9% um, stacking penalty, so we're going to reduce the percentage gain by 80. Uh, by so we reduce the percentage gain by 13.1%, which means my percentage gain from a second tracking computer should actually be 13.95% and not 16.60. So therefore, we're going to do that, and we're going to see that the expected at optimal should have been 24.84. We do the same thing with expected fall off, and, and then we also multiply it by the ship bonus at the end. That, that should have given us an 18.25% fall off, and then our, our, our optimal tracking should be Again, the same thing, but the tracking bonus is a slightly lower. It should get a 9.7% bonus instead of an 11.24. The actual optimal with no stacking penalty is again 16.06% of 18 plus 16.06% uh, of 18. So no change in the percentage gain plus my base, which is 19.44. Uh, and that's going to give me the same thing with actual fall off and actual tracking. So I'm going to go and equip the second tracking computer here. I'm going to quickly do that, the second tracking computer fit, and then we are then going to go over to Eve here. And we are going to see, if I go to this, 25.22, 18.52, and 13.78. And if you remember, if we go back, and this is with two tracking computers equipped, as you can see at the bottom, if we go at the bottom, the expected optimal and the actual uh, uh, optimal are different. 25.22, which you just saw, is with no stacking penalty on two tracking computers. The actual value should have been 24.84. And I'm not going to go through the whole um, pizzazz, but I'm going to show you the, the third tracking computer added again as well. 
With a third tracking computer, you get an even bigger stacking penalty, and that penalty should have been um, bringing us to 26.49 kilometers expected optimal. But the actual optimal is 28.11. And again, let's take a look at the, the difference between the expected fall off and the actual fall off here, and the, ex the expected optimal tracking and the actual optimal tracking. And we're going to just switch back over to my EVE account. You can see I've now got the third tracking computer applied. And you'll notice that it is 28.11, 20.52, and 14.95. And if you just remember a moment ago, 28.11. Um, oops, 28.11, 20.52, and 14.95. And, and just because you can see in the top here, this is not just adding the values that I see in the game. This is calculating it based on the the um, uh, the values that I have here. So I have calculated it using what should be the actual formula for both of these values. You can see, um, and you can see that the difference is 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 not showing up so if you were to equip three tracking computers or you were looking at um uh, bonuses coming from the um bonuses coming from something like rigs you're actually gaining about 1.6 or 1.5 or so kilometers extra um yeah and actually 1.6 you're gaining about 1.6 kilometers extra of actual optimal range you're gaining just over two kilometers of fall off range and your tracking speed is being increased by about 0 0.7 or so, 0 0.65. Um, so you're getting an overall increase of an effective 50% range of five kilometers. So you're getting an extra five kilometers, which might not seem worth it for three trekking computers. But if you think that these are rail guns, you apply this to cannons where the fall off range is much greater and you're getting a much bigger bonus from the fall off range. If you have multiple tracking computers on a cannon ship, like a, a stabber, for instance, you could be having crazy range using tracking computers when realistically the bonus shouldn't be that much. So that was just what I wanted to highlight today. Uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about this. Um, and obviously you can use this if you wanted to, to do PvE content. I wouldn't say that it's particularly useful in PvP content right now. It might be useful in, for instance, in wars. Some corps might be using it. They might have a doctrine where you're having stabbers with like four or five, or like three or four tracking computers just to get massive range. Um, but you can use this in PvE, for instance, and, and farm with a, with a stabber. But I really wanted to do this to, to highlight that it's a bug and it actually needs to get fixed. Um, so yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully this will get this will get sorted out. And I thank you for watching. Uh, and also thank you to the uh, the chap who helped me out with some of the maths here. Um, we did a lot of chatting about multiplicative and additive bonuses, so I'm very much thankful for him um, or her. Uh, they didn't want to be mentioned, so I, I'm not going to mention them by name, but just want to say thank you to you if you are watching this. Um, and yeah, and that is the uh, that is the the overall uh, issue that is currently faced with. I think it is just tracking computers. I'm not sure if there's any other computers in the game, but I'm almost certain it's spe specifically with cannons. But it is a bug, and it does or it should be fixed. And I think it's been around since beta. So um, I just wanted to make a video highlighting it with the math so we can really go through it. And also, thank you. Um, I know this content was, wasn't particularly exciting or interesting, but it is something that I enjoy doing. I like doing maths. You know I like making spreadsheets, and I just wanted to uh, corroborate on this because someone did tip me off that this was an issue. Um, so yeah, I, I appreciate that. And thank you so much for watching.